Um, wow. Okay. Um, I was going to go to Redcliff anyway, so we're going to go there now. We're going to save. I was not expecting that. Tamlin, though, guys. I had to kill him. Okay. I'm going to go with the team I was going to take up to the Frostbacks. I need 10. And I'm going to go with Morrigan and Lele, I think. Yes. Indeed. At least for this bit. Because I need to stand because of this personal quest. I should have leveled everyone up, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I just want to get all these little bits done. Hopefully no ambush. We can hand into these quests. I might level up everyone at the end. Depending on how we do for time. Okay, everyone needs to level up. I'm not going to worry about that yet. I probably should, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. I want to get all these little bits and pieces sorted out first. I know there's some quests to hand in. There's Chanter's board, definitely. I think I've probably done some stuff for the Major Collective as well. Yep, there's the Chanter. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong and he moved on. Okay, that's that done. Anything for you? Make us blessings upon you, Ward. Of course not. And then down here, we should be able to give some stuff into the Mages Collect. I'm sure we've got some stuff. Yeah, we have. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. That's just my Xbox One turning on magically. It does that sometimes. Right, okay, so we're done here. A few quest hands in. When we're done with the Frostbacks and done in Denerim, it'll be interesting to see how few side quests are actually left. Right, we're going to head to the castle next. And we'll be able to uh, sort out our inventory. Might not be a bad idea actually to go back to camp and see what we can give out instead of going up to Soldier's Peak. So maybe when we go to Denerim, I'll do everything that I need to do. And then do the leveling up. It should be the next ambush you have rather than. Oh no. It shouldn't. It should be the next time you go to camp though. It shouldn't force that battle on you. Okay, let's see if we can kill Eamon. Hopefully these ashes do the trick. And then we'll have Eamon and his men on our side. At least what men we have left. Tegan? You return. Might you have news? What is Arl Eamon's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. Are you calling Eamon's knights back? Yes, but they are returning slowly. No doubt the war's progress, as well as the Darkspawns, hinders many of them. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Let's do it. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Where am I? Be calm, brother. 
You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. Yay. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. You can unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Do you think this lands me idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the lands meet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What about the Darkspawn? 
Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. What are my options? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him. So that he leads us against the Horde. It seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. You damn him with faint praise, I see. Then there is nothing more to say. Jowan, I hereby sentence you to death. May the Maker show you the mercy we cannot. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Okay, I've just had a thought. Maybe I should level everyone up at camp because the next bit that we're doing is quite difficult. And I've leveled up as well, which is always good. Uh, I think this is the way out. So we're going to do that. We're going to go back to camp. We're going to level everyone up. We're going to see if we can give out some stuff. There's a few party members we need to level up in a certain way as well. So we'll do that next. And then we'll see how we're doing. Soldiers already preparing, which is good. We're getting quite close to the end of the game now, guys. We'll just level everyone up and then we'll do the other bits and pieces. So. I need to sell my stuff as well. Right, okay. First off, leveling. For me, I've got one point. I'm going to stick that into... Mm. Let's go willpower. I could do with a bit more stamina. Survival, I suppose. Kill. Alistair. Right, so, he needs 36 strength, doesn't he? Does Alistair? To wield the armor. Kaelin's gauntlets. 36 strength. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll give him two strength, one constitution. Combat tactics, I suppose. Uh. Hmm. Ooh, that's not bad. Go with that. Hopefully, he uses the shield expertise. And uh, we'll do the equipment in a second, actually. Wind can't level up yet. Lele. Okay, so what you need, girl, is you need 34 dexterity to use Marjolaine's thing. Yes, or 34 dexterity, not 36. Um. 
So. Wow, you've got a long way to go. I'm going to give you one cunning, one dexterity, and one constitution for now. Uh, what have we got here? Arrow of slaying. Hmm. That's not bad. I'm gonna give her this. So she can unlock everything. Shale? What can I give you? So it doesn't really matter what I give you. So I'm gonna put a little bit into willpower. And we'll keep your constitution going, I think. Killing blow. Hmm. Isn't that the same as this, though? I suppose. God knows. Morrigan. Right, I don't think you need anything, so we'll put... We'll keep working on that, I suppose. Uh, let's get your herbalism up, and let's give you revival. And now Wynn is completely useless. Zephyrin? Right, I need to get your strength up to 20, which it is at. I will just double check that it is 20 that you need. Um, for the armour. Twenty-two is what you need. Okay. Right. So, so everyone, I'm going to level you up. A couple in strength, one into constitution. Vain death is useless. Evasion, I want to do. Hmm. Let's go back a sec. Oh, you're miles off. Lacerate, I suppose. That's good. Mabari. I'll put one into strength and a couple into constitution. Oh, I can give you something as well. Both of those are good. I'm going to go with the Nemesis, though. It's a good passive. And then Sten. Do you need strength? I think you need additional strength, don't you? For something. No, you've got it. Okay, so I don't need to do anything with you, really. I just need to level you up, as I would normally. Uh, let's give you a bit of constitution. And we'll keep working on your strength. Combat tactics, I suppose, is the only thing to go for. And I could max out that. What is there here? Syndrome. Yeah, let's go with Death Blow. Why not? Okay. Now, stuff. Okay, so I'm okay with my stuff. Alistair can now wear Kaylin's stuff. So. Give him the helm. We'll give him the gauntlets. We'll give him greaves. We'll give him breastplate. I think that's all of Kaylin's stuff, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we can get rid. No, we'll keep the Templar helm, that's unique. We'll sort out all the stuff at the end. Um, as for weapons, ooh, I could give you Blight Blood now. I don't feel so bad about giving him that now. Actually, I like the sword better that he's got now. What about Star Fang? What does that do? Oh, well. Give him that. Even that badass sword, why not? 
Um, win. I don't think I can give you anything. Lele. I can give you nothing, I think, yet. So we'll leave that for now until you have more dexterity. Can't give him a shell. Morrigan? Uh, that belt that we got. So the belt, which is Master Lord's, more cell power. That's better than Decorded Shattered Dreams. And what we'll do with Win is we can probably give her the Court of Shattered Dreams now. Honestly, though, I'm going to keep what Win has. I like the extra magic. 